How's it going everyone? Javita here with another Let's Play episode. So I was like in the middle of um, kind of chiseling some of this stuff down and all of my iron chisels actually broke. So kind of taking that as a hint of like, okay, maybe we should do something else while we're crafting some more chisels. But uh, when I was checking to see if I had all the stuff to actually make chisels, it was like, oh, there's like a whole practically a stack of them over here. So we're actually good on chisels, but uh, I want to work on a little bit of kind of getting the stuff for decorations and lighting, particularly the lighting. I'm, I'm kind of tired of being in the dark all the time, so I figured some diamond torches would probably be a decent place to start. Okay, so I already have diamonds here. And what, we need sticks for diamond torches? And I think that's really it. So I guess the sticks are going to be... Uh, okay, there's some sticks. Oh, not close enough. <laughs> I guess this character doesn't have a whole lot of control. And yeah, it's going to be workbench. We have all the decorative skills, so theoretically, yeah, there we go. We have, ooh, we even have enough for a mass craft, so I would think a hundred would be good for now. And so that'll get us covered on diamond torches, and then I think we'll go check out the all block shop to find uh, what planet we need for thorns and maybe what color of gleam that we want. And it's kind of a trick question because I already know we can go to Meloria Live Le Crib for the th color of thorns that I want, but it is available on lower level planets. Uh, I'm just wondering, is the concentration going to be enough on those lower level planets? Because I believe on uh, McRib that there's going to be like whole sheets of it or like ground covering sort of thing. So if we can pick up some maybe AoE axes, that would be really good and I think we need to clean up my inventory so I think I'll do that off camera and uh, maybe hop over to the Aquarius network and go from there okay so we're over here at the aqua or yeah the Aquarius network or the Ultima Guild Empire I guess it's Empire now uh, but yeah I got a nice clean inventory and I did a video on the all block shop a while ago or, or last week and theoretically it should air before this episode uh, so if you've already seen it you should know that it's right over here so the all block shop there's the clock tower and the dark tower so uh, but it's not so much a shop as it is kind of a community resource. So we're interested in thorns and gleam. So there is a floor plan right here and it gives you all the different floors. We're right here. So all the gleam slash wood and then the thorns, yeah, are up here on floor three. So here's all the gleam over here and ooh. I kind of want to stay away from some of the red tones. I was thinking more like maybe yellow slash uh, blue. Because, uh, yeah, I have a lot of red in Javita's home or my main account. Oh, so on the tans, that's maybe Bezo Verona? Not too bad. Light yellow. There's light tan, but uh, yeah, there's basically every single placeable anything on display here. You can even maybe pick up a few, but uh, the prices are a little bit high for what it is just because like, can you imagine trying to stock every single color for every piece? <laughs> you know, it's just not really feasible. Ooh, cold tan. Yeah. Oh, this is on Cole Haru. What do we have down here? So yeah, this gets in more kind of the, the greenish. So Cole Haru seems like a decent option. And oh, that's Wary Teal. Basically looks white. There is white gleam. What planet is that from? Is that the, the Hochis one or something like that? Oh, is this it? There's a there's a particular blue. Maybe this is it that looks really nice. Stale Cerulean. Cephronex America. 
Uh, ooh, cool azure. That's not bad, but... Yeah, that one has a little bit more personality to texture. Then again, this one's brighter. <laughs> And what do we have here? Oh, bright blue. Ooh, that's pretty decent. This is cool blue. And, oh, there's white. Yeah, white is from Mochis One. Yay, got it right. So, yeah, bright blue's pretty good. That's from Flan. Cool Azure, that's not bad either. And it comes from a lower level planet. Ooh, that's nice in both forms, too. Yeah, so... So yeah, that's from Sephron X America. Was that bright blue? Hmm, which one? I don't know, they're all the pretty interchangeable. So, bright blue from Flan versus cool blue from Batulia and Kata 1. So, that would definitely be easier to get my hands on. So, I might go with that one. So, what, Kata 1 for Gleam and the yellow Kol Haru. Yeah, that is a nice color of yellow. And then if go check out the thorns, which are... Here we go. So yeah, I'm interested in this nice bright green thorns right here. Strong green. That is from... Let's see here. I think it's this one. So, Melorial Lycrib, Roxasaurus, Circapus 1. Maybe Circapus might be a decent place, because I think on the lower level plants, they're going to be just like accent material in trees or something like that. Okay, so <laughs> I went ahead and wrote down the, the names of the planets and where the, the colors are, yeah, the colors and the names of the planets. So we're good on that. I proceeded to eat like my last piece of cooked meat, so I had to go on a bit of a wild goose chase to find some more for sale, but uh, did find a pretty good price. And I think we're gonna go hunt down maybe some AOE axes, and I'm not really sure, uh, I Theoretically, we should be able to buy some at the region consortium. It might be like paying a bit of a premium, but we go to one of the farms that's designed for, um, yeah, so that's for fibrous leaves, the berries. Theoretically, they'll sell tools here. Ending on the price, uh, 8,000 for, ooh, there's no extra damage on these things. So for using on a higher level planet, we're going to need more than just that. Let's go to, mm, I guess wherever the juicy, is it juicy? The, the purple berries, whichever one that is. I like uh, purple berry crunch. Oh, there's bright blue. So that's one of, yeah, that's one of the colors we're actually going to be after. And what is this one for? That's for Ash. I guess I could have looked at the, the index. This is actually the planet that we need for the thorns. Oh, just one. That's for Sand. Stale Moss Gleam. We already miss nothing here. Norkina. Aha, here we go. So yeah, this is the one for at least the purple berries, inky, and fibrous leaves. What kind of... Oh, they're actually selling balanced? That's kind of strange. But it does have plus 140 damage. I guess the kind of the thing is, though, is we don't have any axe skills on this character. So that's going to kind of hurt us there. Um... I wonder why they went with uh, balanced instead of heavy or something. Oh, 
Uh, so basically 12,000, uh, that's kind of, I mean, it's basically the exact same forging as a uh, tier six hammer, except it's on a balanced hammer or axe instead of a, yeah, it does have plus 2,000 durability. So I guess for the sake of convenience, we'll go ahead and buy that. And we could use my Surface Gather. He's almost uh, at level 50. But, uh, so let's go... Since we're already on this character and we have the skills for hammers, we can go get some of that bright... Uh, was it bright blue? That's from what, Flan? Here we go. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't know. We'll probably refine some of it. Ooh, that's not the most ideal. Oh, we didn't even bring regeneration bombs, did we? Are there some for sale here? There'll be some on the other hubs of the Regen Consortium. Let's see here. Exotic Earthium Farm. Let's see here. Ooh, very nice. We got... So the copper bombs, they're the... Like the exact same thing, but uh, they use a little bit less energy, so not a whole lot different. So 150 versus 90. So if you're doing something that's continuous and energy becomes an issue, then you can use copper bombs that are a little bit cheaper on energy to use. Uh oh. Let's see here. Just the two... Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to gather a, a reasonable amount of gleam. And uh, then we'll switch over, maybe get some thorns or something. Okay, so really that hardly took any time at all. Maybe five minutes, but basically it just like... Take that one out, throw a bomb. Take this other one out, throw another bomb and just kind of go back and forth. <laughs> so, pretty, pretty easy peasy. But I uh, got over a smart stack, which should be plenty to get me started. I don't think I'm going to use just a whole lot of this stuff, just kind of like accent materials. Uh, let's see, what was the, was it Cole Haru? Pop up my little note here. Yeah, cool tan gleam on Kol Haru, so not really sure. Oh, perfect. Cool tan right there. And cool tan still off in this direction. Light tan, cool tan. <laughs> we'll eventually get there. Uh, cool teal, cool tan. Really? Is it really? Oh yeah, Kol Haru is like way off. Oh, did we finally get here? Perfect. Oh wow, look at this place. So yeah, this should be quite a bit easier. Uh, or at least, you know, more gleam per regeneration bomb. I don't know, maybe it's the atmosphere, but it seems awfully kind of washed out here. But, you know... I didn't want too strong of a yellow, so. But also wanted something a little bit more interesting than just like white. <laughs> so have a have a little bit of warmth to it. Let's see here, we're already up to, yeah, 200. So yeah, I'll kind of maybe get a smart stack of this stuff and uh, then we'll maybe switch over to my surface gatherer or something to get the thorns or, I don't know, we'll figure something out. Okay, so that took, well, naturally even <laughs> less time than the, the, the cool blue. So uh, three minutes maybe, so get another smart stack of that so that should theoretically be plenty uh so yeah i guess actually we can just return to sanctum and then return home drop off the axe and then switch over to my uh surface gatherer and see about getting some thorns and then we should be kind of good as far as gathering stuff for lighting and decoration 
Uh, I mean, naturally we're going to decorate with more than just the thorns, but um, can't really think of anything else I really need to gather at the moment. Uh, but yeah, certainly having some lighting in this place will be really nice, because <laughs> depending on which character I am, I don't have the best lighting options, and sometimes it's just not practical to have uh, a torch or a light source in one hand and then your tool in the other, and so yeah. But uh, so yeah, let's uh, take a look. I mean, I have, haven't actually even used this guy yet. Uh, he's halfway to level 47. So we got 24 skill points to spend. We're going to Kol Haru. What atmosphere is that going to be? Is it potent or I think it's potent. So no, potent is chill and shock. So I think it's volatile. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. You know, blast is kind of volatile. Burning is kind of volatile. Uh, caustic is definitely uh, poison and. We need, what, four points at least in that? We don't necessarily need these other ones. It might be convenient to have those. Uh, we already got the shovel and axe. Go ahead and pick up axe mastery, I suppose. We don't need vitality. Do we already, already have maximum control? Uh, could use the Shadow Step Epic to <laughs> hopefully stay out of trouble. That's going to keep creatures from basically attacking us, where we can get closer to them before they start attacking us. Ooh, definitely need the Durability Drain Epic. So we have five skill points left. So we could pick up the Jump Distance. That would be handy to have. Uh, don't really need armor because we have the Control in the Shadow Epic. So yeah, I think that will maybe pick up the jump distance epic, have a little, ooh, wait a second, where we definitely need the energy regeneration. Uh, energy epic would be nice too, but not as important as the energy regeneration. So let's go ahead and apply that. And yeah, let's oh pick up our axe and head over to Kol Haru. So we're gonna have a lot of bad weather to travel through, but should be manageable. Uh, persisting Pie. Ooh, we don't even have a loot magnet for this character. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see here. Uh, can I survive without a loot magnet? That is a good question. Okay, so this is a really weak loot magnet. So it's not a torch, but it's better than nothing. And what else? I guess a light source would probably be handy. Here's that the right, yeah, that's the right slot. Uh, grapples would be a good thing to have as well. E. <laughs> He's gonna be slumming it for a while until I get uh, some better equipment for him. And put the axe over there. What else do we need? Oh, I was uh, thinking like a persisting food. I can't hardly even see the... <laughs> the basic of the basic torches. Okay, so at least have some light. Oh, here we go. We just grab a piece of gleam. Or I guess all the gleam. There we go. Not the best color. And I guess for the time being, yeah, I can grab this and pay it forward later. So this is part of Savior's Cash. And that'll get us started. So let's head over to um, Kol Haru. Is it Kol Haru? No, I'm thinking of... Uh, we've already been to Kol Haru. Uh, Memorial Live Le Crib. So... I guess we could try to use the this place. So Bez of Rona and all higher tier worlds. Uh, yeah, on second thought, since I don't know that network or the Aquarius network as well as I do the Portal Seekers, and we have atmospheric conditions to contend with, let's uh, go the way I'm more familiar with. 
So we're heading over to McRib, which more or less should be a straight line. See that shadow tier? Will this be Alcyon? Here we go. McRib. Oh well, yeah, that was pretty, pretty painless. And now it's just a matter of... Oh yeah, we took the energy regeneration instead of the jump. Dude, we have really, really bad grapples. I mean, it still save us from fall damage, but let's see here. Let's get a feel for... Okay. Oh, because of the, the guild buff, we have a, a more respectable range. But yeah, that is not bad at all. I mean, a really slow reel in, but at least gives us some range. Uh, hmm. Oh, I guess a region bomb probably would have been good, but if we can find a decent area... I mean, we don't need a whole lot of this stuff. Ooh, look at all of that gleam over there. I thought there was some areas of, like, like a lot of thorns, like a... like it's almost like a ground covering. So, but uh, I guess let's see here. I'm not probably okay. I'll go ahead and record it, and we'll just kind of see how long it takes me to find what it is I'm looking for, and cut out accordingly. Because we've already got a little bit on this episode, and I don't want it to be super long. Okay, so I've done not like a huge amount of running around, but yeah, this seems to be the the biggest patch that I'm finding. So, ooh, and this doesn't even one-shot. Well, it, I guess it can one-shot if I critically hit, but, um... So, and since I don't have a regeneration bomb, I guess I'll go see what the other planets were. What, what was Wolosaurus and some other kind of low-level plants. Ooh, he's got a health buff. I'm just... What? Oh, is it the grapple that <laughs> thing is gonna hit? The uh, yeah. There. There we go. You gonna run into something and kill himself? One can only hope. Ah, got him. And uh, where is? Oh, I got the. Oh, there we go. There's my. <laughs> I have like a designated button for torches, but since my loot magnet is um, usually my torch, I've kind of gotten out of the habit of using it. So yeah, I guess we'll go check out one of those other planets. I mean, I could be just not in the right places, but uh, I kind of thought I knew where some was, but I think I'm thinking of planets like uh, Cardass or whatever that... You know, they have these, uh, the thorn patches and, like, ground covering just kind of all over the place. <laughs> the meteors are just chasing me all over. Ooh, that one's kind of close, too. But, uh, so yeah, I think we'll, I guess, return home to get off this planet quickly and, uh, go check out one of the lower level planets and, I guess, pick up some regeneration bombs while we're at it. Okay, so we're back over here on the Petulia Hub. I um, returned home and got back here, but first I picked up some regeneration bombs, so I guess maybe, I don't know, something like that. Uh, but I guess we're gonna go check out Saurus, and which is, should be through this portal. And uh, let's see here. Let's find maybe a portal out into the middle of nowhere, see where this one goes. Uh, this looks pretty not, um, populated. <laughs> and, uh, let's see here. Okay, got some dead trees. And, oh, there's some thorns. Okay. That gonna be our best bet, though. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay, look at all of this. So this is way better. So I guess we really probably don't even need uh, regeneration bombs for this. Yeah, let's use my uh, really weak loot magnet. Guess any improvement is, well, still an improvement. Yeah. 
And, uh, yeah, I guess if we do run out, we can always pick a, yeah, like, this spot isn't horrible. Certainly a lot better than, uh, McRib. <laughs> Am I pricking the ash, apparently? Yeah, I guess this is, a. Uh... Kind of a waste to use this particular axe here, but it's the AoE axe I have, and uh, really the only axe I have. I guess I could use a totem? Yeah. I don't know, we'll survive. Okay. There's a hole there. Let's see here. Got a hundred and twelve thorns. Not really sure. Shouldn't need too much of this stuff. Just kind of want to use it as uh, kind of decoration, maybe on the underside of our roof or the not really the covered patio area, but I guess the area above the what's covering the machines. Here, oh, here's some more. Ooh, here we go. Oh, okay, it's water. <laughs> I just kind of assumed it was going to be another uh, hit or whatnot. Which, actually, it kind of is. Look at that, jeez. Okay, the 200 and some odd. Okay, so 300. Oh, there's some patches. Yeah, if we could find another biome like this, we... But, I don't know, I guess it's really not worth the travel time. We just regenerate what we have here, I suppose. And, uh, really, I don't know, we got 300. That's probably enough, maybe? I guess we can regenerate that and see what we get. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. Okay, so we're just over 500. That should be plenty for what I have in mind, at least. So, uh, and we certainly, we can always kind of come back here and get some more if we decide we need it. It's pretty easy getting here. Um, nice and convenient as long as we don't forget. <laughs> But, uh, what, we just went to Saurus and then went through, um, what portal was that called? Sky or something like that? So, I head back over here. Uh, but, well, actually, I guess we'll just go ahead and kind of end the video here. But we got some diamond torches on the way. We got 1,800 gleam uh, in two different colors as well as... Apparently almost 530 thorns, so that'll allow us to do quite a bit of decorating, kind of like vines and stuff like that. If you're wondering what I'm going to do with it, if you saw my Regen Consortium video, or the video that I did on the Regen Consortium, uh, they had some uh, basically chiseled thorns that, I don't know, just looked really nice, I thought. so. That's uh, kind of the, the vague idea that I have so far. But anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.